I am at the wet spot here in Portland, Oregon, and just looking at all of their beautiful smaller fish right now. And uh, these uh, discus here, the size is about two and a half inches maybe. And uh, we've got the larger ones. Tanks are just really pristine. And we start to get into the bigger fish here, maybe three, three and a half inch. Got the albinos, the blue. Some more albinos here, some snake skins, which I'm trying to see their color here, but kind of hard to do. Beautiful fish, though. And more snake skins here. And I'm not sure what this is down at the bottom. Showing his bar is pretty, pretty good. And then of course the melons. I just uh, picked up some of the melons uh, not out of that group, but out of this group here. Um, there were four in here. I grabbed three of those. And the checkerboards, the pigeons. And then the larger albinos here, which are just beautiful fish. These albinos are absolutely just perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Just about every way you can look at them. No peppering on them at all. They just look fantastic. And then these guys down here, which are snake skin. The blue snake skins. This one in particular is just gorgeous. Love the coloring on that one. And then there's the leopards in here. They're just beautiful. Absolutely beautiful fish. This whole store is just, like I said, it is unbelievably pristine and perfect. Some of the tanks are, you know, for a pet store, they are really, really beautiful cichlids. They've done a good job of really making sure that these tanks are top-notch shape. And they've got some of the wild angels up here. Don't know if they have any altus. Maybe these are altus. Here, let's take a look. Zerontis angels, Scolari. I don't see any altus. I'm going to see some down here in these larger tanks. But uh, I'm not really seeing any altus. So I was able to do a little bit of uh, trading on uh, some fish here and I picked up these three 
and uh, they will be in this tank for a short period of time and uh, we will uh, get them out of quarantine. Uh, I don't think that there's any problems with these fish at all right now, but I just don't want to take a chance. I, I do trust the person uh, that gave them to me, but uh, I want to be careful not to uh, uh, make a mistake and uh, cross-contaminate and uh, have a problem with one of my main tanks of discus. So I'm going to be real careful about that. now. These are really some nice colors on this fish. I love the bars on it and the, uh, you know, the, the patterns are just absolutely beautiful on these guys. Uh, I was looking for something like this a little bit darker, the black and white um, spotting and uh, bars. And uh, so I'm real happy with these guys. I'm uh, reasonably certain that they will um, probably, uh, I would say, be out of this tank within a week or so, as long as everything goes really well. And then I'll divide them up between whatever tanks I have room. And uh, I don't want to overstock my tanks, obviously. I wouldn't do that. And uh, I try to limit, uh, you know, uh, between, a 75 and 100 gallon tank a limit of uh, seven to eight fish at the most and that's if you're really really doing a lot of good water changes and uh, that can uh, present itself uh, to be an issue if you're not and so you want to make sure that uh, if you are pushing the limits of the size of your tank that you do uh, make sure that you're doing a lot of good water changes. Now this guy right here, I'm noticing there's a little bit of scrubbing that's gone on. And sometimes with a new tank, if you have wood in the tank, uh, their first day in there or night, uh, they, can, they can have that happen. But I, I noticed it's on both sides of this particular fish. Now that'll go away easily within a few days. I did put some a uh, little bit of antibacterial uh, in here and uh, also some parasite medications that were very light uh, stuff that's not going to harm the plants or do anything uh, you know really dra dramatic to the fish so uh, that should heal up on him pretty well one of the fish also had a uh, glazed over eye and I noticed that from yesterday to today that that's pretty much gone so that was probably something that happened when they got bagged up sometimes uh, that could happen just from the net and uh, I don't like to net discus to be honest with you I like to try to catch them a different way but sometimes that's not possible so um, anyway I uh, just thought I'd introduce you to these guys here, and uh, these are newbies that uh, we'll be putting in other tanks here in the next uh, week or two, and uh, anyways, that's it for right now. We will uh, see you on the next one. Until then, we're out of here.